This is Envisat, an Earth observation satellite launched back in 2002. Its team lost control of it in 2012 and it has been inactive ever since. Envisat's eight tons of mass poses serious collision risk for many essential satellites still in operation. And it's not alone. The European Space Agency estimates that more than a million pieces of debris larger than a centimetre in diameter are currently hurtling around Earth. Even a piece of space junk that small can devastate a much larger satellite, as a lot of debris travels at speed faster than bullets. The growing risk from space junk could jeopardize vital services and applications, such as telecommunications, navigation and climate data collection. Satellites play a crucial role in modern life and our dependence on them continues to grow. Space debris poses a major threat to active satellites. Explosions in orbits are the biggest risk. They can be caused by leftover fuel or energy sources in discarded rocket stages and satellites. If they blow up, they can disintegrate into thousands of dangerous fragments. Astronomer Don Kessler theorized that once the amount of debris in orbit reaches certain limits, collision becomes inevitable. He says that this will trigger a chain reaction of collisions, a scenario known as Kessler effect. If it occurs, the Kessler effect could lead to the mass destruction of satellites and a corresponding exponential increase in small fragments of space debris that would ultimately make certain orbits unusable. Scientists warn that we are nearly there. To tackle the growing crisis, scientists, engineers and policymakers from around the world have gathered at the European Space Debris Conference held every four years. The first step in prevention is to design satellites from the start that they can be repaired in space or deorbited in a controlled fashion when their working life is done. But scientists at ESA are also working on ways to collect existing space trash. As for Envisat, the Renegade satellite will continue to orbit Earth, a disaster waiting to happen for at least another century before finally falling back to Earth's atmosphere and burning up.